Good evening, ghosts. It's been 20 years since the release of the original Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, all the way back in 2001. Since then, we've released 15 titles across PC, console, and portable devices. And with each game, we've been able to watch the Ghost Recon franchise grow and evolve into the tactical open world action epic we know and love today. But we're not gonna let an anniversary like this pass without getting a little nostalgic about a franchise that's close to our hearts and hopefully yours too. We'll be looking back at two decades worth of Ghost Recon games, as well as a look at the present day post-launch efforts with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And it wouldn't be a birthday party without a few presents. So be sure to stay tuned to the very end for news on free content and a few other surprises too. So whether you're a new recruit who's just discovered the series or a seasoned veteran who's been with us from day one, we hope you'll join us for a bullet riddle trip down memory lane. To kick things off, I'd like to hand you over to Eric Cousion, creative director on Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Ghost Recon Modlands, and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Hey Ghosts, I'm Eric Cousion and I'm creative director on the Ghost Recon franchise. As someone who started out as designer on Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter back in 2004, I'm both honored and excited to be able to celebrate this special milestone with you. Working on a franchise with a legacy like Ghost Recon, we have to stay true to the roots of the franchise. Firstly, wide open areas. Ever since the original Ghost Recon in 2001, the Ghosts have always excelled in open environments. And secondly, when it comes to story, we've always taken great care to follow in the footsteps of Tom Clancy. Every game we make is a kind of what-if scenario. And finally, authenticity is the cornerstone of our brand, especially when it comes to the Ghosts and the tactical options they have. Over the past few years, we've had the opportunity to collaborate with very talented people. Creating a Ghost Recon game is a question of passion. But I'd like to take a special moment to wish everyone who has worked on or played a Ghost Recon game over the last two decades a happy 20th anniversary. Thank you all the ghosts out there. And now let's dive into how we create the world of Ghost Recon with Benoit, World Director. Hi Ghost, my name is Benoit Martinez. My personal history with the franchise dates back 20 years ago to the original Ghost Recon, which I bought with my very first paycheck. True story. Years later, I joined the Ghost Recon team to work on Future Soldier. The game was mostly linear, apart from a couple of levels made by our friends at the Bucharest studio. Those stages were more open and somehow closer to the original GR experience. After we released the game, we started to experiment further with this idea. First, we tried one square kilometer. It was quite big compared to what we'd done previously, and we were surprised that the old game engine we were using could even handle it. Then we doubled the size, and it worked. So we doubled again, and again. And after a week, we were working with the biggest terrain we'd ever created. It was literally 1,000 square kilometer. Way too big for an actual game, but we were just prototyping at that stage and it was super exciting, not to mention absolutely crazy. To meet our ambitions, we also had to find the perfect setting. We considered many options, but ultimately, we all agreed on Bolivia because of all the incredible landscapes. We sent a number of teams to many different sites to gather as much reference material as we could. We've been on the death road twice, back and forth, all the places you can see in the game are inspired by relocation, including my favorite, the Laguna Colorada with all the flamingos. But moving from a linear game to an open world was also a huge challenge from both a design and a technical perspective. It was new for us to build things of this scale. At each step, we were amazed by how crazy it was, but also how nicely everything was coming together. I remember the first time we had the vehicle in the game. We all spent the day just driving around, racing against each other, and discovering the world from a new perspective. 
That's why world building is such a fascinating job. Every day there's something new and every day an idea has become reality. Over the years, I've been fortunate to work with an incredible team of passionate artists and designers, some of whom have been with the franchise since Advanced Warfighter. It's been amazing to see the dedication of the team and how willing they are to improve the game, explore new territories and push the limits of what Ghost Recon can be. Thank you, Eric and Benoit. The Ghost Recon series has a number of defining features. Sprawling maps, white knuckle gunfights, and tactical flexibility, to name just a few. But one of the key elements that keeps gamers coming back for more is the painstaking attention to detail that goes into a Ghost Recon game. Every gun, every gadget, every last pixel that makes the battlefield feel so real. Our next two ghosts have a long history, not just with the Ghost Recon series, but with Red Storm Entertainment and the Tom Clancy video game brand. So please welcome Richard Dansky and Travis Getz. Hi Ghost, I'm Travis. I'm the Senior Authenticity Coordinator on the Ghost Recon series. I've always been interested in military people, history, and equipment since I was a kid. So it's been an honor to work on a series where authenticity is the lifeblood of the games. We've always encouraged teams to invest a lot of time and resources into making sure Ghost Recon feels authentic. So that means setting up meetings with elite Special Forces operatives, making sure that teams have the very best reference when it comes to reproducing equipment, and also keeping an eye out for technologies and new tactics can be really important. About 20 years ago, we even created a gear room that is full of thousands of pieces of real life military gear. These are there so artists and animators can check out the real thing and help get those fine details just right. This is actually my office. The games always change, but the core remains the same. Giving players an authentic look into the world of the real life special forces. And to tell you a bit more on how we craft those stories, I'll turn things over to Rich. My name is Richard Dansky and I'm the Central Clancy writer for Ubisoft. To write a Ghost Recon story, you start by looking at the news. Not necessarily the front page stuff, but look for conflicts that would be appropriate for the ghosts. In addition to that global flavor, you also want to have a clear and present danger. There has to be a reason this elite band of operators is getting sent in, after all. Then there's the high-tech aspect. The ghosts not only are the best, they've got the best gear. Then there's believability. It has to feel like something could be on the news. Otherwise, you don't have a military shooter, you've got a science fiction. Ghost Recon storytelling has always relied heavily on authenticity, ranging from gut-checking character bios to sitting down with real-world operators and hearing their stories. I'm very proud of the work I've done on various Ghost Recon projects. It almost feels like Ghost Recon and I have grown up in the industry together, and I want to see it continue for many more years. As you can probably tell by now, we've come a long way. We couldn't have made it to where we are today without the hard work and dedication of ghosts like Richard, Travis, and the rest of the team at Red Storm Entertainment. But all that hard work would have been for nothing if it wasn't for you, the fans who've made Ghost Recon more than a series of games. 20 years for the fans, with the fans. We know that without our community, we wouldn't have made it past our first title, never mind to 20 years. So with that in mind, we're happy to announce a little something to say thank you. We're giving you the chance to go right back to where it all started with the very first Ghost Recon, absolutely free to download and keep on Ubisoft Connect. And that's not all. For all you Wildlands players out there, we're granting you free access to the Fallen Ghost DLC on PS4, Xbox, and PC. We hope you enjoy seeing just how far the Ghost Recon brand has come over the last 20 years, and that you're as excited as we are for the future of the franchise. Now, to the present day. In this next section of the showcase, I'd like to hand over to some of the people who've been working on Ghost Recon Breakpoint since launch to make sure that it reaches expectations our fans have for a Ghost Recon game. My name is Xavier. Our production team has worked hand in hand with our community team, listening to the players, fixing issues, and improving the experience with exciting new gameplay features. When Breakpoint launched, 
We wanted players to experience the feeling of being alone and abandoned in a hostile environment. But we quickly realized that working as an elite unit is something that long-time fans of the franchise believe is core to the Ghost Recon experience. That's why we brought back the AI teammate to back you up on your mission. Since the skill tree was originally intended for the player character, we had to find a way to use it for leveling up your AI teammates. It took a bit of creative problem solving on our part, but all that hard work has opened the door to all kinds of new features. If you need an example of how far Breakpoint has come, look no further than the Ghost experience. We realized that many of the players want different things from a Ghost Recon game. Some players want a more tactical, immersive military simulation experience that can be played solo. Others want to drop in and have fun with their friends in a more okay way. In the original release, many players found it hard to fully commit to a stealth build because they kept getting spotted by enemy drones or other Zillus guards. But with the custom difficulty sliders, players were able to remove drones from enemy camps. And with the new bullet throw feature, they could distract enemies or draw guards away from the rest of the pack for a silent takedown. One of the features we're the most proud of is the ability to play the game with a friend with using completely different difficulty settings, all at the same time, and without unbalancing the experience for either player. We're always searching for unique and interesting military gear that we can incorporate into any new content we're releasing. We work together to identify some of the most highly requested items from our players. What have we had the most requests for? Gilly hoods. And we've integrated them into the latest teammate update experience, so keep an eye out for them in the game. Key to our post-launch plans has been to add an extra layer of hard QA testing to provide the best experience with the new features we're adding. Nowadays, there are so many platforms and specs that need to be tested. So it's good for the production team to know they have a dedicated team playing the game, testing new content, and tracking how Breakpoint is performing for players, no matter what hardware they are playing on. Those early difficulties we have, they have helped us to gain a better understanding of what is the core of a Ghost Recon game. A customizable team of elite operatives given the freedom to approach objectives however they choose, all underpinned by an unmatched sense of realism. It's always a joy to know that millions of players are having fun with something that myself and the team at Ubisoft have worked so hard on. And I'm really excited to hear more from you about the new content we have in the pipeline. From myself and the rest of the team at Ubisoft Paris, we want to send a big thank you to the community of fans across the world for inspiring us to make Ghost Recon Breakpoint the game we always knew it could be. Thanks to everyone for your continued hard work. As you've heard by now, our fans play a key role in our plans for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But for us, community doesn't just mean voice chat and message boards. We want to empower players to showcase their creativity, their skills, and their love for all things Ghost Recon. That's why we created Delta Company, our community leaders program through which we empower you, the community, in sharing your passion for our game. But don't just take our word for it, why not hear it straight from Delta Company themselves? I was lucky enough uh, to hear about uh, this program called Delta Company. I've never seen that before, uh, uh, a game where the community helped build it. Woo! I'd like to wish you a happy 20 year anniversary to all my ghosts out there. I spent most of my time on Ghost Recon Phantoms. Then came Wildlands, which redefined the franchise for me. I will thank the team for communicate with the community, to communicate with the Delta Company and put so much hard work. So I hope I get another 20 years experience in Ghost Recon. Who knows where it's going to go next, but keep on keeping on and thank you. Thank you for all of the hard work, time and love you invested into Ghost Recon. We really appreciate your support and dedication to the series. To show our thanks for your continued support, we thought we'd give you a sneak peek at what's next for the Ghosts and for Aroa with a brand new trailer for our next major title update. Introducing Operation Motherland.
Nomad. This is Bowman. Been a long time. The CIA's been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the outcast camp. Good luck, and try not to get killed. Can't wait for you to get your hands on this new update. In the meantime, the celebration and gifts are not over. To celebrate this 20th anniversary, iconic skins of past games will be included in the next update for all players to get for free. And that's not all. For all you Ghost Recon Breakpoint players, you'll be able to unlock the entire Deep State adventure for free. That's pretty much all from me. I'd like to thank you all once more for joining us in celebrating 20 years of Ghost Recon. It bears repeating, we wouldn't have made it here without you. So thank you from everyone at Ubisoft. But before I go, there's just one more thing that we'd like to share with you. While the Paris studio keeps working to support and improve Breakpoint, we have another studio working on a top secret Ghost Recon project. Hello Ghosts, my name is Razvan and I'm a community developer at Ubisoft Bucharest. Myself and the team here in Bucharest are excited to finally share what we've been working on for the past three years. Let's take a look. But they know buried alive by the lies that they sold. It's a long time coming like a comet pass. Got them all fired up from the rocket blast. And if I fall on my sword, turn my bone to ash. Let it clog up the sand in that hourglass. We in the title fight, blow for a blow. And you can reap the benefit of what I have to show. Cause I'm about that work with which you don't appear to know. So you can take the stage while I take over the show. This is it's an epidemic of the vultures in the playpen Weasels with a smile and a gal that leaves them vacant Businessmen sticking up the lane and out the cadence Thieves wearing suits they can never fool the vagrants And con man bringing the treasures of old gold CEOs grinning from swindling stocks cold Politicians trading their morals for blindfolds And cowards step aside as the criminal mind holds Welcome to the jungle where deception is the code Brother fighting brother as the rapper is corrode that evil, be that evil bold. We hope you enjoyed the trailer and this very first look at our next game. Frontline is a brand new installment in the franchise, taking the tactical heritage of Ghost Recon and expanding upon it within a large-scale PvP experience where you choose how you want to win. Now, I'd like to pass the mic to the rest of the team who are eager to tell you more about our vision behind the project. Hello everyone, welcome to Bucharest and the world reveal of a brand new experience in the Ghost Recon universe. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Frontline is an exciting new addition within the franchise, driven by our very personal take on a military authentic massive PvP shooter. We are bringing you a tactical action game with a dynamically evolving pace 
and freedom of approach at its core. In Ghost Recon Frontline, you are at the heart of the action, and it's up to you to decide how you're going to outthink, outmaneuver, and outplay your opponents. Because in this combat zone, there's always more than one path to victory. Jumping into the game is simple. Just choose a contractor, pick a game mode, and get to it. Progression comes from improving your expertise with different weapons, completing objectives, and unlocking new recruits for your team. Contractors will be generated from a pool of various nationalities, military origins, looks, and classes, each with their own specialization, development paths, and loadouts to benefit your team. Classes are highly specialized, filling in distinct tactical roles. The Assault, for example, provides great sustainability in close-range fights and overall proficiency in offensive maneuvers. The Support class can offer superior protection, thanks to their fortification abilities that will let you defend your position much easier, while the Scout can easily recon the area for their team, revealing and pestering your enemies from a distance without fear of reprisal. These are just three examples of what we're planning to be available at launch, with more to be added during seasonal updates. The soldiers you choose will radically shape how your team progresses and accomplishes goals. No two players will have the same fate, so you must think fast on your feet and adapt to the situation at hand. Ghost Recon Frontline is about complete strategic freedom. In our flagship mode called Expedition, players are dropped onto the island of Drakemore in three-person squads, tasked with finding crucial intel scattered across the landscape. Drakemore is a vast open world, filled with distinct biomes and landmarks to explore. That's a good thing, because there'll be more than 100 players active at once, all vying for the same intel. Once you're done collecting, it's time to head to a drop zone and call for an extraction. Now, here's where it gets really tense. Extraction is quite noisy. Every team on the island will see your position and will be gunning for your ride. If they intercept you before you successfully extract, they can steal it and use it for their own. How you will try the win is entirely up to you. Gather intel and extract in a hail of bullets, or lie in wait for another team's extraction and play the spoiler. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the freedom you have in setting your own objectives and shaping the game your way, ensuring that no match will play the same. Frontline is still a Ghost Recon game, built on its core values. This means its gameplay is all about creating your own solutions to overcome different situations. We've brought it into a first-person perspective to heighten your immersion and retailer the core mechanics from the ground up to emphasize reactivity. Everything from the way you move to the way your gun handles feels faster, sharper and more responsive. All of this to provide a seamless and satisfying experience. While Expedition will be our flagship mode and the heart of Frontline, there will be other, more casual options added for those who want to get some quick access, traditional arena shooter experience or simply test their new ideas for loadout, class composition or tactical support setup. We'll be rolling out a suite of unique modes to allow players greater variety in gameplay options as our game world evolves with each season. No matter what your preference is, we are committed to making sure this title has something for everyone. As huge fans of PvP shooters, our team knows that creating a balanced and fun experience requires a lot of testing and iteration based on players' feedback. Without your involvement, it simply cannot happen. That's why we don't just want to hear your feedback, we want you to see how it affects our journey to deliver the most polished and entertaining experience possible. You'll be able to put your tactical preparation to the test in Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Frontline soon. Registration for our upcoming tests are now open and I'm thrilled to let you know that many of you will be able to play the game in our European PC Close Test with other platforms to be announced at a later phase. Make sure to sign up to this link to get more info and a chance to play the game. Keep in mind, Frontline is still in early development, but because of this, you, the players, have a chance to shape the experience before its final release. So, if you want to help decide the direction for this exciting new chapter in the Ghost Recon Saga, be sure to sign up for the upcoming Close Test. There will be plenty more from Ghost Recon Frontline in the coming months. So for all the latest news and details, make sure to follow our social channels and share your excitement with the community and the team. That's all for now, but we'll have more updates coming your way in the very near future. 
We hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far, and we can't wait to show you more of Ghost Recon Frontline. And once again, we wish you all a happy 20th anniversary, Ghosts. Thanks for watching, and see you all very soon.